um, which is a northern village on the Queen Charlotte Islands, which is also the west. The further west you can go uh, in British Columbia, we're just south of Alaska. Uh, Massett, when I look back at my grandparents, little did, did I realize what they were doing to myself and my cousins. They were teaching us on a subconscious level by acting out their knowledge. That, uh, we were part of a, a bigger picture. Like Nani and Chinny, I'll, I'll call them Nani and Chinny, I'm more comfortable that way, my grandfather and grandmother. They, they lived through a time of incredible transition. They were the children of the generation where the missionaries first came into Masset. And so they went through that incredible change of where they were denied um, our traditional song and dance. And to further uh, um, destroy the spirit of the Haida people, the children, my, grand, my parents' generation, were taken away and, and they were schooled in residential schools. And they were denied speaking our own language. And I'm that generation where it's important for us to put put those pieces back together again. I I don't say this in a um, I say this in a respectful way because I feel each generation has has its own challenge, and rather than dwell on what experiences we went through, I would rather work on finding solutions to move out of that trauma. And I find that I find that art has been an incredible healer of that trauma, which I will be which I will be talking about tonight.